Hello everybody and welcome back for another video. This time I'm gonna go around the 80, uh, 180 stacker and I'm gonna kind of show you what you can do with it and what you want to do with it when cannoning spawners or whenever you're gonna reverse, scatter up or hybrid down. So let's just start off. This is the direct um, same scatter or sorry cannon you have on your uh, schematic if you download it from my private collection. So there's no different here. And as you see, I have to water call my cannon on this server here because this is a private one, and it basically have, uh, yeah, the same <laughs> concept as any other server, just without the, the bedrock protection. So if I fuck up, the cannon blow up, and that is just about it. So let's just start off by firing this bad boy up here and make a hole. Let's see what's going on. And then it goes, and then it stacks, and then it make a beautiful hole. And then, of course, that is no way that one can clip. But and now we add the spawners here. So if you fire this cannon right now with the hammer on slap boss scatter and everything else, it is gonna completely destroy the spawners. And I'm I'm not sure that it's gonna drop anything unless your server has something where TNT doesn't destroy spawner entities, then uh, you should probably go ahead. But if your server does not have that, follow along here. So you don't want the slap bust, you don't want the hammer down, so destroy that right there. And now, inside the cannon, you should place down a dispenser right, whoop, right there. And now when you've done that, let me get out of this sorcery. There you go. You want to take these two blocks and take that down. You want to place a block here and just destroy that one repeater right there. These two redstone here, you are probably going to see what I'm going to do with that. So make a hole right under here, put the repeater in there, get some uh, redstone and then make it up to this repeater right here. And you see why it combines right here? Just get rid of that so it will look something like this. Since the spawners are very, very close, I can take down three repeaters and I can try to fire and what I'm trying to do with this is kind of trying to make the TNT fall a little bit before it explodes so I can get the last uh, spawner here and then work myself up or else you will have to use creeper eggs to do that and nobody really want to do that and remember whenever you do this fill up the cannon oh god there you go now let's try again that is my bad guys but everything should be just fine now and we should see the TNT dip a little bit, or fall a little bit, before. And that's where I mean, I got that one spawner right here. So now, there's three spawners left, and it blasts in the three radius. So let's just... Oh, let's just take some of these off. And that should get all the spawners. And that is only one TNT firing. That means that you will get the loot as well. And I think that is just about it. Uh, let's do the last two spawners here. You can go all the way down to no ticks on the scatter Because it is combined that way, so it doesn't fire as soon as you hit the button But that will get rid of the last spawners as you see right there, but now We have this shit here. So normally I would go in uh, Scatter this create a backboard behind here That allows me to reverse scatter and hybrid down but I'm thinking, why should we not do something else? So let's say there is protected chests here, um, what you're aiming for. Right here is some protected chests, or there might be a wall of water, or it doesn't really matter if the, it's protected chests or protected iron oh. spawners or whatever it is, iron gold spawners, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. You can use that as a backboard. But normally I would just scatter to this, stack without scatter on, and then keep sky one, uh, the wet sand. Oh. That's cool. But, um, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, and then just make a backboard here, up here. And remember when you make a backboard, uh, get rid of the scatter, and then stack once, and then it will stack about right here. And then you need to use only the power and wet sand to stack one more there, and that would be the backboard. But uh, for now, we are, let's just say there is some chests here, or I don't know, like, it doesn't really matter what's here, that is water protected. You can use that to reverse down, uh, and reverse up, or hybrid down, or whatever it is you want to do. But uh, let's try to do that. So now we've got that, we need to enable everything again. Uh, whoop, uh, got 
down here. Get rid of that. Let's put it up like that. There you go. Oops. There you go. That is how it was the standard when you got the schematic. So I always do this so everybody can follow along. So this is the schematic you get when you download it. And now to reverse scatter. It is quite simple. All you need to do is simply go into this here. Stand on this block right here. Place a cobblestone or whatever you want to do. Place one uh, trapdoor right there and make sure that you can place a block above it. That means that, that it's uh, placed correct. Now that you've done that, you remove the guider from right here. And when you're done that, you should be able to simply scatter the fuck out of whatever I made up there. Uh, let's go up here and see. <clears throat> oh, that was a disaster. That was indeed a disaster. So let's see what went wrong here. The scatter is on for sure, the slap bust. Let's put this on one tick. There you go. Um, let's just go inside the cannon here again. It didn't blow up, so that's always nice. Th that is gone. Everything is gone. It should work. Let's just try again here. Uh, let me just quickly check here. Yeah, the scatter works. All right. It goes down instead. All right. Uh, I, I, I see how it is. Oh, there you go. And this one is fine. And let's see here. This one is fine. One. One. Full text. That is just fine as well. Then I am a little worried why this doesn't work. Let's just see here. No? Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. I see how it is. Um, yep, yeah, that should work. Huh. That is indeed very weird. Why that doesn't work. Uh, what if that word sound right there? Okay. Okay, I see how it is. This kind of like the bully. I see how it is. <coughs> no, that was that is indeed a very weird. That is indeed a very weird. Indeed, a very weird. Oh, it looks like this slap was no. It should actually work fine. Let's put that back in. Let's take some ticks off this one. And let's shoot again. See if that solved the issue. That did not solve the issue. It might be because... Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> Sometimes, guys, sometimes I really don't get, like, oh my god. That's my bad, guys. That is my bad indeed. So, I placed that copper wong. How the fuck did I place that wong? Oh, that's because I made a backboard the last time. Alright, 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 I see how it is. 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 But as you see, it was either working fine. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Uh, why I did that? Why were the two different methods? But okay, that's what I get. Like every time I record, sometimes like I don't really think about what I do because I'm I'm more thinking about what I need to say because I'm my English is not uh, my first language as you probably already know. So I have to think about a little bit what I'm going to say before I say it, and uh, that can get some. I can get some mistakes doing in the video, sadly, but oh well. But uh, you only need to do is just change the guider and remove the, uh, the normal guider. 
or you know the trap door and then remove the normal guide and you will have whatever you were seeing here uh, so let's just do that one more time here of course now the scatter has less delay but you can just leave it as it And it was at this moment Dexter realized that a wireless headset wasn't that smart. I simply didn't have the time to record this all over again and that is why I'm kind of just putting in this sound. But uh, just hang tight guys, I will soon realize that my headset accidentally turned off. I just hate whenever my headset goes out. And that's because I got bought some wireless headset. But as you see, what I did here was simply uh, just putting a, a repeater here on full text, sand, and then copper down at the bottom. And then now when I do this, I will make a, will make a hybrid shutdown. And the scatter was simply just adding that trap door like all others. But as you see now, it is going down beautifully. And now it is actually working great. So what you can do is that you can Canon from 240, use my 240, and you can just hybrid all the way down if that's what you want to do. And that will give you something like this. So this is awesome. And as you see, every single time a layer goes off. And uh, that is kind of the point in doing this. And it can go down to bedrock. Like, there is no limit for this. If you made a 255 and do this, it will go all the way down to bedrock. And that's it. So... Let's do it one more time and stop the video there, because now there's nothing really else I can show you. Uh, now you, I taught you how to reverse scatter. I taught you how to how hybrid down when you're inside the base to uh, a back bottle, or else you can just stack up here as I showed you. Um, and then a normal cannoning wall right here. And I think that is just about it. Uh, if you have any issues with the cannon, feel free to comment. If you have any ways you want to do it differently, that you're doing differently and you want to show me, feel free to comment as well. Remember to subscribe to my channel and of course like my videos. My name is Dexter and I'm